Clive Christian's Eye or Amber Oriental from their premium collection smells like A, month-old seafood jammed inside of an old used wooden leg, B, burnt hair on top of a urinal cake, or C, a football player's jock strap stuffed with durian fruit. Stay tuned and find out. What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and this is our channel, Mr. Siage. For all the returning, subscribe, Siage soldiers, as always. Welcome back. And yes, I've been sampling Clive Christian's Eye, or Amber Oriental, for quite some time now. I've been trying to get a handle of this fragrance, and I've come to one conclusion. Now, this is my opinion and the way that it smells to me. If it smells great to anybody else, I apologize for this. But Clive Christian's Eye, a $400 fragrance, is the worst smelling fragrance that I've ever smelled in my life. Period. No, exclamation point. The worst smelling fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. Clive Christian's eye is part of their premium collection and smells like burnt hair on top of a used urinal cake to me. This is the most ratchet, abysmal, disgusting fragrance that I've had on my skin. When I wear this, I want to burn my skin off. Thank God. God, I was not dumb enough to blind buy this fragrance. I got the Clive Christian Premium Sample Pack and it has two of the premium samples of Clive Christian's Amber Oriental or also known as Clive Christian's Eye. And to tell you the truth, I know nothing about this fragrance. Other than the price, I don't know the notes, I don't know the breakdowns, I was never interested after smelling this fragrance, I was never interested in knowing what was in this atrocious, atrocious blend. I get a little bit of a musky scent here. I don't get that much amber at all. Maybe some tartness from like a, maybe a, a gin note or juniper berries, but this is just absolutely rancid. So note list? No, don't care. Or the perfume, or the cologne. I don't even know. I, I didn't even read the box that well. And yes, for this video, I sprayed this on my arm. And I'm, I'm absolutely pissed off that I have it on there. For $400, why would I buy a fragrance that smells like the inside of a rundown nightclub bathroom on my skin? Longevity is amazing. Longevity, it lasts over 10 hours. And in fact, I'm sure that it lasts beyond that, but I never really found out because I can't bear wearing it longer than that. I, I've tried testing longer and I just, I can't. I, I hate, I hate wearing it. Once again, if this is a fragrance that you enjoy, more power to you. It just on me, this is my experience. It just, it's just that bad. And truthfully, I don't know where else to go with this video. This really isn't a review or a, a, a video or it's more of just the response of how this reacts to my skin. I just, I can't, I just can't. But as always, this isn't a review. This is a discussion. Tell me, have any of you guys tried Clive Christian's Amber Oriental or have you just ever smelled a fragrance that was just absolutely gross to you leave a comment down below i would be so so thrilled to see what you guys have to say and if this is your first time here and you haven't already please consider liking commenting subscribing hitting the notification bell saving me a seat at the lunch table with the cool kids be really appreciated also, all links to my social media are conveniently listed down below in the description and at your leisure. Maybe go check those out when you have some time. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. 
I know this is a little different, but this was just the God's honest truth on that fragrance. So thank you so much for watching. You know that it always means a lot to me. Love you guys. And as always, and most importantly, go frag yourselves.